So the Shredder, uh, really interesting hero, it goes way, way, way back uh, to the past. It used to be a unit that you could hire as like as a mercenary in Warcraft 3 RTS games uh, to get even more lumber. Uh, he would destroy the whole forest, whatever it is in front of him, he would just deforest the whole area. Uh, really fun unit. Uh, played him a lot in uh, Dota 1 as well. Here is. Uh, it's also great, one of the toughest top laners to kill. Easy ways to get in the fight, to get out of the fight. You try to chase him, his uh, armor and HP regeneration procs. Uh, he's getting away, he's spamming you with this. All of these do damage anyways. And the old ult, if there's anything like Blade Metal, Blade Metal Shiva and anything like that, it becomes even worse. Food, of course, upgraded later on. So yeah, really, really nasty off laner. Uh, not a lot of people play them actually that I've seen. They prefer to spam, uh, I guess, something that's more easier to move. Maybe like Bristleback or Axe or Centaur. They're kind of more straightforward. This guy is kind of a mix. So yeah, let's start. Let, let's start with him. Uh, first of all, boots. Uh, what can boots be made into? He has a lot of spells with a really short cooldowns. He'll be spamming the second and the first all the time plus the ult when you get it uh it might be just a good idea to get arcane boots of course not not near at all if you if you don't want to go the full spammy way you can also get tranquil boots tranquil boots go go great with uh reactive armor and uh yeah but that's pretty much it i think you would either go one of uh one of those two i don't know about face boots face boots is uh, armor i guess for this also but the damage is kind of useless. You're not really using your like melee, pure melee attacks to kill anybody. You always kill people with the spells. So yeah, you can make that decision. I usually like arcane boots, so, I, so I'm just covered. I can move around. I can spam stuff. It's just what I like to get. Uh, or yeah, yeah, it is arcane boots. It is arcane boots. So the second, the second item that I would consider getting is as always with with. Uh, it, it, always the same story with hood do they got uh, heavy big uh, heavy big heavy spell healers uh, a lot of spell damage or maybe some fast spells that can be with, with low cooldowns that are still like slows or stuns this might be great this can always be upgraded into uh, shroud for yourself or the pipe for your team definitely not needed at all he's even even with all the spells he's just good as it is as, as he is but this is just to make him even better so optional item uh it is also passive health regeneration that goes with passive uh, regeneration from this so yeah i mean even if there's no spell hood can still synergize great with this so yeah that that's up to you on this one uh some other item that people like getting is blade mail since yeah you're really hard to kill this gives you more and more armor more health regeneration somebody constantly hitting you is gonna is gonna feel like pretty drained out of his all health all of his health it's it's kind of like uh uh chasing bristle back while he continues his spams the quills and and his passive procs it can be really nasty with blade mail uh of course it's completely skippable you can decide it's extra armor armor is always nice with this uh so yeah they kind of go nice together you'll have to press a lot of stuff already so like four three spells plus uh, two items you're already in that uh like how high amount of clicking uh but yeah you can decide on blade mail there's also kaya and sage great effects from sage as always for any off laner like this more defensive oriented one uh kaya because these are low cooldowns that you'll be spamming anyways plus the the ult and uh you'll always be needing mana anyways so i like kaya and, uh, kaya and sage the, uh, in most cases i would get this probably like this boots hood and then like a big item like heart or maybe shiva uh but yeah that's probably gonna be your next stuff you can either go heart or you can go shiva uh, both of them were great shiva is even more man as as you'll need it yeah, like you guessed it it's nice aoe it goes with the ult i'd say it's like uh I mean, even even if you decide to go scepter and then th this like doubles, that also works. I can you can go agony scepter as well, but I usually skip it. I, one is enough. 
So like Shiva synergizing with ult, synergizing with whirling death, it's all like it's like three nice AoEs plus you get the timber chain. I mean it can also hit everybody if they're in the path between you and the tree. Maybe they're right here. You do like a chain to the tree, you hit everybody on the way. So Shiva will always be great also because of the armor, right? Uh because it slows everybody down and their heals regeneration lifesteal. If you just wanna jump in the middle of a five man team on the on the other side and just not care about anything then the the, the goblin is your hero pretty much it's just one of those if you wanna if you jump in there press all of your uh cooldowns it's, it's gonna be really really annoying for them to try to deal with you like in a simple way that doesn't cost them a lot of spells or health yeah, it's, it's, you, you're gonna make them pay uh in, in, a, in a in a way in a, in a for in a, in a lot of resources they don't have to spe spend like a lot of uh, both health and uh, utility on you to just like try to control you and calm you down and yeah then your team is just gonna jump uh, straight uh, behind you into the fight so either heart or shiva they both, both were great there's also uh crimson guard initially more for you with vanguard and then it also becomes a nice aoe for the team you can get that uh there's also possibility for octarine core lower the cooldowns of these even more it's some nice stats uh lotus orb as usual you can just jump in right uh cast this on yourself you're gonna be really annoying pressing forward constantly with the low cooldown spells if they want to cast something on you it's gonna return back to them so pretty amazing item this is a pretty like, really really good for the for the goblin for the timber saw uh and yeah last one that you can think about is uh uh halberd this one is not really made often at all but as always if there's like an annoying right clicker and you're having trouble with uh with the hero you can always get it uh you can never go wrong with halberd it's strength it's stat resist stat resist with armor uh with all of, with all of this uh disables them disables the ranged one events uh if, if there's annoying range one it, it's a lot less uh, duration but it still works so a whole bunch of items uh and the hero is good with couple of items all anyways you don't have to be some crazy farmer or try to like farm all of this goblin with like with couple of items he becomes incredibly annoying already all of this is just like extra stuff that's going to be really really annoying uh, for any, anybody to deal with you so even like when i'm playing against this hero it even uh it almost always makes me make uh silver edge <laughs> if i'm playing somebody that can get away with that like you need to have like something like Sil silver edge if it becomes really annoying and just break his passive it's just that annoying that you need to break the passive with silver edge sometimes to kill this guy he is that annoying to kill so, similar to bristleback <coughs> sometimes they just snowball or just, they're just that annoying that you just want to break their passives and kill them already and and be done with, uh, with the offlaner so yeah amazing amazing hero to play doesn't need a lot at all and is ready to fight at, at any time uh talent tree uh i would go for health of course you'll be getting mana from other sources of course a lot of a lot of other sources so you can just take the health why not uh second one more armor of course and a uh, longer period of time that it continues to work i always take the last one so health and armor like it, it, it's a right pretty well rounded buffs for you health and armor it can't, can't get better than that and then level 20 of course strength even more health but this is like it's it's improved health buff right because strength also gives you a lot of other stuff it's it's it's, it's not just health and uh, so i will always take this so it's health it's armor it's even more health uh last one is yeah so so with the uh, with the timber saw the last one is, is completely relevant you can pick whatever you want timber chain range is better i think anyways uh so you can just do like a bigger 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 jumps you can escape much further so this gets more value because it's like a it's like a per tick so you've been able to put some distance especially let's say if you have heart as well so you put in some distance real, real quick heart goes uh back to regenerating you your passive goes uh with the health so 
it's kind of like you have to you have to catch up with him but then when you catch up with him he's already regenerated a, a big portion and then you have to start all over again hitting him and this also keeps proccing and the proccing never stops so yeah uh i would just take the the left one and uh that's it pretty much on the lane uh usually if you're not with somebody that's really aggressive or you just think you, you can get like fast kills i would just suggest taking everything into reactive armor and then just choose like whirling and uh, timber chain because really if it's it's not enough to kill him you can harass him with these i guess but getting reactive armor and being able to just stick on the lane and never have to leave it is much better i think long term you're not gonna lose any gold or xp you're, you're gonna be there constantly you don't have to use this as harassment you can just right click anybody and do like harassment in that way and uh if any unit hits you this just goes off and especially great if you go with vanguard or the early ring of health so the regeneration is, is just crazy whatever you choose but yeah uh, that's pretty much for the goblin. Uh, I don't think there's anything else really. It's pretty much is you getting a couple of items, chaining in, uh, pressing all of the cooldowns if you have Shiva, if you have a hood, pop those, plate mail if you want, and just they're usually just gonna start running away. Uh, especially if you have a nice team backing you. So yeah, it definitely can win some games on his own uh, with the type he is. And uh, yeah, that's it guys, and uh, I'll see you on the next hero.